Okay, welcome back to Centre Point, where something isn't quite right. I feel there's a problem with my base. I'm not quite sure what... Oh my god! So yes, this is Jamie from randomiseuser.com with another Savage Lands episode. And yes, they've made Kerr more aggressive again. Just like in the old days, back on the old island, where if you're on his flight path, he'd come down and touch you something rotten. And now it's actually um, easier than ever for him to spot you. But he won't um, keep on flaming you over and over. Just a couple of times. Not like the old days where you had just used to spam one spot over and over and crispify you something rotten. Right, okay, so now we're going to head out, so I better just prepare. I'm just going to change around my inventory a bit, I think. Right, so I'm leaving centre point behind. I'm turning left. Down! God damn it. Sod him. I'm going to just turn left and go along the river, and we're going to head towards the Sarta. And right, so in this video, and possibly the next, I'm going to do some spoilery things about secrets and endgame equipment currently in the game, mate. <laughs> Ugh. And the full list, um, being, um, I think, the Needle Spear, uh, Shadow Shroud Sword, uh, the Flesh Ripper Sword, um, Smuggler's Cove, Dragon Scale Armor, and there's also a kind of shield that Yignol drops. Uh, we already fought Yignol um, in a recent episode, but apparently he drops a rare shield as well, if you're very lucky. So, I don't know, um, I'm not quite sure how I'll split all that stuff up over the course of the uh, one video or two videos or whatever, um, but do, I guess, check the video's title and description for more details. I've just got to follow this along for a long way, and we should get to where we need to be. Right, so this is the point. If you go left, you'll end up um, at Shudderwood, and you can actually find that entrance to the Cartazul dungeon. Um, but at, the, at this point, what we do is turn right to go into Desarta. Um, I'm fully aware that I don't think I've ever actually shown the inside of Desarta off on the videos before. Um, I think I've already made the joke before that every time I try and do it, I edit it out. Because it, there's no, nothing actually happens in there. It's boring. So I've always just like um, edited it out of the final video. But today we're actually going to go inside it! The interesting thing about this area is there's a lot going on. I mean, there's Hen Hecknar's Ironworks for a start. Um, I think there's a, um, there's actually a... Well, I've already picked it, but there's a, a night bloom flower here if you want to go find it. And not only that, there's a contentment. There's a there's a contentment. There's a there's a place. There's another place which we'll get to in a bit, which is also named just outside Dasarta. Um, just down here. This used this place used to be crawling with furies, um, but oh, that's it. Cantonment. Um, the Sarta guard cont cantonment. Whatever the hell that means. Yeah, so this place used to be crawling with Furies, but then a recent update, they took most of the Furies out, as we've already discussed. So instead, I think they've got the um, the little slithery thing. Oh, there's a spear skeleton. Um, there's, all, there's a little slithery, um, what do you call them, the, the ghouls instead. There's one. Tonk, tonk. There we go. Deed. Gone. Uh, and here we are at, oh, Gerald G Garrison. The hell's that? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, anyway. So this is this is Desarta, although for some reason it's now called Gerald Garrison. Um, <laughs> oh god damn it! Is that a bug? I'm sure it's I'm sure it's Desarta. Uh, last time I came here. Huh. Oh well, whatever. Anyway, so somewhere around here is the Flesh Ripper, but you're gonna have to swim for it. Um, it's it's kind of out on the ice over there somewhere. Um, there's goats and skeletons and things here. Um, so why is it called Gerald Garrison? God damn it. That's confusing me. So you just need to get onto the ice. Um, unfortunately, these days, the ice is incredibly cold. So you're probably going to die. Um, I'm not quite sure I've, I'm fully prepared for this. Um, I've only got five meats and seven bandages. Um, let's just warm up on the tree. Tum, tee tum, tee tum, 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 burn. I don't think this is going to give me vast amounts of heat. Yeah, it'll do. I should really scran up to make sure that my stats are as high as they can. I'm guessing Curia potions will be handy for this, because then you'll be able to recover your cold very quickly. Um, there's always the cheating way, of course, by um, skipping out onto a different save when you're getting too cold. So if things do go two tits up, I might actually end up doing that. Um, so, I haven't done this before, um, but and last time I tried to find the Flesh Ripper was on the previous Legacy Island, and that went insanely badly, and I didn't ever, ever put it on video, because I just died. Right, I've just reloaded, um, and yeah, we actually are at Disarta. It was just a little bug in the naming thing in the bottom left. 
And there's actually some lore here, and which actually does sort of guide you towards the Smuggler's Cove? That's actually not... That's actually the other thing that we're going to look at, isn't it? Right, so there it is. Um, it seems to be more visible at night. Um, and it's just coming towards night now, although I'm not quite sure how I'm going to survive on this amount of cold. Um, but, I'm... Oh, shit. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Um, maybe I should actually go on the, um, the bloody ice. Um, that might actually be handier. Make sure I've got full stamina and stuff like that. I can just eat a bit. There we go, that's more like it. Um, if I jump a lot, that might actually... Oh, actually, no, my cold is not actually going down that much. Oh, sure, when you, when you appear, that's not too bad then. Uh, I think it's just really in the water, so yeah, you definitely need to stay out of the water, I guess. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Da, 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 here. Yeah, look, my cold is going down, but not too badly. So if I just keep on... Oh, my stamina. I'll let my stamina recover whilst I'm in safety. So, tootle, 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 tootle. Yeah, so the Smuggler's Cove is a kind of like a hidden cove on the map. I mean, it's right on the other side of the map. I'm not quite sure. I thought it was, um, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, it's actually giving you a hint that there's um, the things out here. But this is not the Smuggler's Cove. This is just a bloody lot of ice with a flesh ripper in it. Oh, yeah, so this is, uh, the cold situation isn't nearly as bad as I expected. That was the thing with the, the Flesh Ripper on the Legacy Island. Um, it was almost impossible to get out there without freezing to death, no matter how many um, frost firm bandages you spammed. Although it is possible, I, I just could never do it myself. I think I was just a bit shit. And I think, I mean, let's, um, let's torch up. There we go. It's in here, I think. There's an entrance. And let's um, eat some meat. Um, and let's eat some more meat. That's all my meat. So, as you can see, my um, health is sort of recovering and my heat is... I don't know, whatever. Anyway, let's have a look. Um, my stamina again, rather dire. So I don't really want to touch that water if I can help it. And if I've calculated... Oh, no, so I think it's over there. If I've calculated correctly, El Flesh Ripperino should be around in here. And there it is. The Flesh Ripper. Hello. Toink. I toinched a bit early there. And there it is, there's the Flesh Ripper. Now, as you can see, now I'm actually freezing to death. So, if you're if you're planning a trip out here without doing what I'm about to do, you will need more meat and warmth than I am. I'm going to quickly skip out and warm up on a different save, which ain't really the thing to do, but fuck it, I'm making a video. Okay, so I'm tootling back now. Now, it has occurred to me that I don't really want to necessarily go back to Desarta, um, because... If I do that, I won't be. I'm not sure I'll be able to get back up onto the pier side. So I'm guessing I kind of need to drift a bit to the left, uh, and then kind of go up on shore. Um, I um, yeah, my um, my cold again is going to be a a tit on toast. So I've got myself a little bit of extra food, um, but it's not going to. Hopefully, it's going to see me all the way back. Although to be honest, I might have to do another bit of a warm up again on a different save. Do nuts give you warmth anymore? I don't think they do. Oh! Ah! Uh, game just froze on me for a second. Oh, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a cow! Just briefly, there's a cow. They really need to sort that bloody cow situation out. Because um, they, they seem to have suffered the worst from all this uh, mob navigation issue stuff. Um, but, yeah, that's coming soon, apparently. Um, right. Yeah, I think I'm making my way across the... Uh, this might actually be a better way of doing it. Maybe there's a... Um, not from Desarta itself, but... I mean, crossing the ice here, I mean, I'm staying out of the water quite a lot. Um, let's just eat my last bit of meat. Um, and then I'll be able to hopefully make that last... Well, I'll probably actually be able to... Yeah, here we go. Cross here. This is... Yeah, this is nice. Look at this. I hardly have to go... I don't actually have to go in the water at... Oh, shit, I went to the water. <laughs> But yeah, I've made my way back to shore pretty much 100% over ice. So that actually might be a better way of doing it. So let's, let's have a look at the Flesh Ripper stats. Um, it turns out the Flesh Ripper isn't as good as the Wolfsbane, really. It's more of a trophy weapon, um, I guess. It's still good. I mean, it's got damage of 72. But if you compare that to the Wolfsbane, that's got damage of 95. Plus makes you lighter, weirdly. However, the one thing it does have going for it is... Um, other than me doing a decent sword and everything, it's actually more durable than Wolfsbane. So you're going to get a few more tonks out of it before you eventually have to repair it. So now I've got Wolfsbane and, and the Flesh Ripper on the go at once. So that's going to be some tasty action if we can find anything good to kill. Or oh, a cow! Oh yeah, that'll be a test. Um, yeah. Oh! Here we go. Tonk, tonk. And within microseconds, it's gone. And you as well. 
Tonk, tonk. Gone. Hehehe. <laughs> yeah, dead easy. So there's quite a few buildings in them, in Desarta. All of them ruined, though. There's like all the wooden big ones up top. And there's a kind of more of a military sparse type feel down here. And of course there's the docks and the great big dragon statues everywhere. There's four of them. You can definitely see this from a long distance. Um, although because of the pop-up, this stuff as well, you, it, it sometimes makes for some comical there's a flying stone dragon type effects. But never mind. Um, let's get out of here. Bye, Desarta. Will we ever see you again? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, I'm going to have a quick go at um, Carter's old dungeon again. I'll wait for it to load. There we go. Um, ignoring Kiffy the tree fellow roaming around all over the place. Um, never mind. So yeah, we saw this in a previous video, so I'm not going to go on about it too much. I'm just going to go and see if we can get um, Yignol to drop his was name, his um, rare shield. I probably won't, be, I probably won't, because I mean, um, I'll have to be very lucky for that to happen. Um, I think we'll have to tonk, tonk him quite a few times before he does that. I can't even remember where he is. So, I shall see you one... I think it's not... Is this... It? No, it's not it. But I shall see you when I find him, anyway. Right, here we go. Um, Yignol should be right ahead. So let's, um, let's Wolfsbane and Flesh Ripper him. Hello. Bloody hell, this is fast. Fast, 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 fast. Miss me. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, he only got one hit on me. Uh, oh, I'm lucky. Ooh. That was very lucky. The Bulwark of Unity. Ah. But is that Unity 4 or 5? Etc, etc. Oh, let's just fucking take it. Yes. Um, and also a human skull. Wow, look at that. Some um, durability 11,000, damage reduction 84, encumbrance 5, but warmth 10. That is a very warm shield. The bulwark of unity. Ooh. Honestly, didn't expect to find that. That's the first time as well, if you don't count the other video. That's the first time I've actually got it, so it can't be that rare a drop. But, I mean, I think the... How to get out? <laughs> the main... Fuck's sake. The main issue here will be getting the thing to res... Uh, getting Yignol to respawn if you don't find it straight off. There we go. Right, um, I think I better head back to centre point. Actually, I had a change of plan. Um, I've actually done a, a bit of a 180. I've come over to Shudderwood, um, which is right next to the, um, uh, the Cartasol entrance, admittedly. So what I'm going to do, now morning has broken, is I'm going to put things to the test against a forest giant. Um, I wanted to fight Kiffy, the tree fellow, but he only spawns at night and morning now has broken. So let's go and find Br'er Forest Giant. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out my shield. And this is the new shield that we've got. But also, I'm going to test out the um, the armour that I've got on. And because I haven't shown you this, um, this is dragon scale armour. Um, you can only get this by um, farming the dragon. Uh, which I can't do solo. But thankfully, I have friends in high places. Um, basically, I was on a developer server the other day, and one of the more prolific players of the game, Carnifax, took me aside to show me various stuff and um, donate some weapons and armour to me, that kind of thing. I think I've slightly turned too far to the left. So yeah, he's given, he gave me a full set of this great armour, um, as well as um, actually showed me a few of these secrets that I'm now showing off. Um, I mean, admittedly, I mean, yes, I think other people have already done um, proper how-to guides on the game's current secrets. Um, but I'm just kind of like, sticking to my usual shambolic Let's Play style. Um, basically, because there's, I don't really want to do how-to guides because they may well be out of date by the time you see them, because this game keeps on changing. And secrets do tend to have a tendency of wandering off, changing location, whatever. Remember all that time we um, spent looking for... Um, what do you call him? Draymar. Um, every every update he kept on moving. I think the developers were playing with us. Um, right, okay, so I haven't really been concentrating, but I think, yeah, the forest giant should be around here. So let's have a look at this armour properly now. Um, so the damage reduction of the helmet is 16, that's 48, that's 16, and that's 16 as well. Gives you plenty of warmth as well. However, it has got a bit of encumbrance. So compared to steel armour, if you look at the curious, which is the big the big thing. That's got damage reduction of 43 compared to 48. Not a huge difference. Um, the boots um, are 14 versus 16. So it's not like um, you're not going to be vastly overpowered compared to having steel armour. So don't think that. So well, it's more of a, again, a lot of these um, endgame stuff is almost like a trophy type thing. Although, having said that, there's, um, there is one weapon, which we'll probably, I think we'll look at next time, called the Shadow Shroud, which I was given. Um, that's a very endgame sword, and that's really powerful. But yeah, we'll look at that next time. For now, let's shield up. I'm using my Wolfsbane rather than Flesh Ripper, which is probably a mistake. Oh, I forgot to actually... <laughs> okay. 
I forgot to actually um, sort out my health and stamina and hunger and stuff. But the armor should be protecting me anyway from Br'er, whichever one he's called. Sod off. I don't think I actually hit. Oh, hang on, shield. There we go. Hardly touching me. In fact, my health seems to be going up. I'm not quite sure how. <laughs> actually, that's better. I think just a, that was just a trick of the light. <laughs> Ow! Fucking hell. Look, it's, he's hitting me repeatedly. And I'm, I'm not. my health is not going down whatsoever. Even my stamina's been okay, actually. Um, and he's gone. Nice little shot there. Hello, mate. How are you doing? You don't look very healthy. And what's he dropped? Oh, of course, of course he's dropped the rune. The rune of origin. Um, but we saw that in a previous episode. Oh, bit of word. Oh, lots of phosph ferns. Actually, that's... <laughs> compared to everything else I've just got, that's actually probably the most useful, because I don't really have many of them. Uh, oh, give me the... Give me the... There we go. Do I need a spirit shard? Well, I've got it. So, <laughs> just leave the whetstone behind. Uh, sticks! Ooh, even better. Right, yeah, so is, uh, let's, have, let's have a look at how, how much my armour got tonked. Not at all. Maybe the gloves got a little bit torn. Maybe one of the fingers is now loose. But bloody hell, he, he gave me a, quite a few knocks and he basically didn't take any health off, off me whatsoever. Um, even without, like, I'm putting up my stats. Um, everything's good. Cool. Okay, so... Um, I think we've probably been going for long enough now in this episode. Um, and we've got about halfway through all the secrety type stuff. Um, next time, I guess, that we need to go and find the needle. Um, I need to show off the shadow shroud. And we also need to go and find Smuggler's Cove. Um, which is a place... Um, it's like a named location, but you have to... It's, it's very much a secret and you have to know exactly where you're looking for. So that's going to be fun. Cool. Okay, so next time is going to be next time. Probably next, um, I think, a week today, as per usual. So thanks for watching. This has been Jamie from randomizeduser.com. Plague World for the lads. Don't see you very often these days. Actually, that's a good point. Um, plague Wolves used to ju just be like um, night creatures. Now they just, just lig about in the daytime. Um, however, um, also, they only spawn in certain locations in the game now, apparently. I seem to remember in a recent update, they fiddled that around. So it's more of a, like a location-based thing rather than a time-based thing. Um, I'm look at that. I've got po oh, thankfully I, by complete coincidence, I happen to have some Babo potion right there in my hot bar, so that's all rather handy. Okay, so subscribe for future episodes of Savage Lands, and I shall see you next time. If I can just finish killing things, but my, my bloodlust is up. Okay, <laughs> God, I'm a daft fuck it. I don't want any of this stuff anyway. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.